7, and then it'll be something different. So that's negative 10.403. Now, velocity is what units? It's no, velocity. Velocity is just one. It's not Which was? Centimeters per it's not centimeters per second. second. Centimeters per second. And then, so we've got centimeter per second over seconds. So you in physics already know that that's what? Yeah, centimeters over seconds squared. Cool. I have a question on reading students. Okay. Now, instantaneous acceleration. So we're going to have to take the derivative of the velocity. So the second derivative of position, first derivative of velocity, take the derivative of the first times the second, plus the first times the derivative of the second. Derivative of sine is cosine. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Now we're going to find that of, it says, 1.5. So the acceleration of 1.5. I got 0. 0.634. Did you have my calculus this morning? Because I have to draw to put freaking close parentheses. I'm not going to be scared. Oh, I got it. I didn't. I don't know if I did. Did I have you forget close to put a close parentheses? No. I have what one. did you get? I got like 8 times 7 times 7. Yeah, then I couldn't have used it. I got it right yeah. close parentheses. I got negative 13. I don't know what it is. I think y'all both did it wrong. I know I did. You think? I yeah. know I did it wrong. I even said it before. Yeah, but I have a... Here, look. Here's the page, dude. Here, here it is. Oh. Like this. Did you see I it? I can't see that. Can you see this? Yeah. Can you see mine? If I quit moving? Mine looks like the... You got the first part? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to scroll to the second part. Did you forget the minus? No, I have minus. So I'm going to look at yours. You want me to retype it? No. I want to find it. <laughs> nope. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, you did this right. way? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're in grade.
Um, you have the derivative of y1. You just do it that way. No. 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 Why? When you have done typing it in, and then I'm going to see what you typed in. Captain Perkins. Yeah. Yeah, I got the same name. Okay, sweet. Thank you. But I don't think that's funny. <laughs> Which was funny? Like, I don't care what you did. Like, I thought that was funny. Oh, you you're showing this right here. You grabbed the I told you you messed up parentheses. Well, I can't look at that because I clicked enter. You can just yeah, you can. You can just go so you just go back up and hit enter. Mm -hmm. And then you can make your I don't know. Just say that. That's what it was. One measly parentheses. See, if you mess up one parenthesis, you can make it 13. If you mess up one parenthesis, you can make it 18. <laughs> yeah, which one did you mess up? The first one. Oh no, I'm on the third one. Okay, in summary, let's correlate position, velocity, and what we already know. Position versus time graphs. So, no. a red, a regular f of x corresponds to which of these three things? Position. Then f prime of x velocity. corresponds to velocity. And f double prime of x acceleration. acceleration. Oops. Now up here, I didn't put it and I should have. This is also p prime of t. And this is v prime of t and p double prime of t. When does the bell ring? No. Oh, 931. No. Yeah, okay, we'll stop there. What happens if velocity is undefined? Then. Velocity would be the first derivative, yeah, undefined. Yeah. So if it's undefined or zero, what happens? It's not moving. When the first derivative. Now you think about velocity. Possible max or min. The possible max or min. So that's going to be where you have your, um, well, we'll talk about it. Is this a later lesson? No, it's. Coming next.